Peace and greetings, everyone. <clears throat> Here with another project. This is a um, prototype that will once again roll into uh, Project Starbeam. Uh, Project Starbeam has three NRF 24s, but also um, spots for two CC 110s, <clears throat> although the NRF and CC 110. One are interchangeable. Um, they pretty much have the same pins. But I will be um, <clears throat> releasing a, a interpretation of that CC1101 aspect because I made an upgrade to the previous um, <clears throat> CC1101 uh, jammer to add a display and also uh, some buttons, LEDs if you want and um, they'll still be the SD card as well. And also I'll be using an ESP32 instead of the D1 Remos, which is an ESP82. For now on this one, um, there's one CC1101, um, but the next versions will have uh, two. But just to give you an idea, so now we got, so we will plug it in. Now we got a cool new UI. See that? And I'm gonna add um, a whole bunch more functions. But the idea is that uh, before could you would have to use a serial terminal and all that. But um, now you just have uh, different options. So you, you'll be able to set the frequency from here, um, do some other configuration stuff, record, um, view the uh, raw signals and all that. Um, but for now, I just kept it uh, pretty simple. So here we have on um, SDR++, we're using the uh, USB dongle because we're only going up to 433 uh, megahertz to test. So we'll click play. Out uh, the car keys. So now instead of uh, having to go through the serial terminal, you just select uh, the button. Stop it. Like that. So um, next phase is uh, I'm making a whole bunch of <coughs> upgraded PCBs and this will be one of them. Um, and like Starbeam's kind of like a compilation of everything. Um, but I wanted to kind of modularize everything um, before that release. Uh, so the next uh, ones will have uh, two CC110s, um, be getting it done uh, through PCB way. Um, highly recommend them, get done cheap, easy, uh, really clean. Uh, they, they did the work for um, Project Starbeam as you can see. And they also do assembly too as well. Um, I have them assemble pretty much like half of it and then I assemble um, the rest. Uh, 
Um, but when I release this, uh, I will have the build of materials. So you can pretty much just uh, have everything assembled. Um, but yeah, the idea is just um, with the new upgrades is there's gonna be a battery power management system for all the new PCBs. Um, so this will be portable. Um, you'll have your buttons and um, yeah, be really nice and clean. Um, but before you go to PCB way, um, you definitely need to just get it all figured out on the um, breadboard. And then you can also uh, make a schematic um, with this as well. I think I probably will make um, a proto board version um, because I want to really test out. Uh, the two. Yeah, so I forgot I had this. Um, yeah, this is a prototype I started um, a little bit ago. Uh, so it's pretty much this, um, but like upgraded. Um, uses uh, ESP32 S3 room. And then it has uh, two NeoPixels and then two radio modules. And this is so you can um, either uh, transmit um, both of them at the same time or transmit and receive. Or you could do a mixture of uh, things. You can, you know, record raw signals and all that. Um, then an SD card module uh, to save the data. And then a few buttons. Um, then I got some resistors here for the buttons. And then a resistor for the LED. And then um, a switch to, you could do it two different ways. You could either have a power switch for, um, each uh, radio module, and then you can connect a light to each. Um, so each module can have its own light and its own status light, or you could have um, this switch, just control the power to both of these if you want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the uh, prototype. And then after that, um, you could just get it sent to PCB way and have your PCB made. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Probably by the next video, I will have the uh, code uploaded um, to GitHub. Uh, but I'm still uh, finishing some of it. So um, thanks for watching. Peace.